back with some better lighting here and hopefully you guys are brave enough to try and solve the bottom layer of the Rubik's Cube because it took me a long time. A long time I was only able to solve this and it took me a long time to um, do this top part. Learn it. Alright, so scenarios, 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 scenarios. Not fun. Every time you find or every time you solve the top two layers it does a different scenario to your bottom layer and oh yeah when you hold your Rubik's Cube to do that you put your 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 favorite which is my the white my favorite the one you solve first down that's how you solve the bottom layer so and you just hold it as if it was your white side so when the scenarios happen like maybe this one okay if you see an L a cross, like a, just a white cross, or a cross with two here, so it'd be everything filled but these two. Okay, that's when you need to learn different scenarios and algorithms when you get to that scenario for the bottom layer. So, what you need to do is th for this scenario, let me get it to a different one. All right. This one happens all the time. You need to know this one. So, one scenario is called the fish, and it's pretty obvious. It's a fish. So, yeah. Every time you get the fish, you need to hold or get the nose of the fish, a little fishy here, and put it in the bottom left corner down here. And you need to perform this algorithm. Pause the video. And watch it right here. This is, I don't know, yeah. Yep, this my this is I like this one because it's really fast to do. R U R prime U R up to R prime. That one right there, number two. Pause the video. Look at that. Do it on your Rubik's cube and see what happens. All done. Good. All right. So now, when you have the fish in the bottom corner, you perform that. And you should possibly, it may not happen, you might get just, you might get another fish, you might get like, uh, another, yeah, another fish, another one, huh. looking for one, and no, it's just going to keep solving back to this. But I'm going to pause the video and get it to a scenario that happens once in a while. All right. Okay, here's one. There's one where you do the, or there's like a T, and if there's ever like an odd one, maybe it's like an I, like there's a yellow here, yellow here, yellow here, yellow here, then a line. You always imagine that there's only yellow here, just a yellow bar. But if it's if it's a cross, then no, forget about what I'm about to say. But if it's a if it's a yellow T or a yellow I then you do the you hold it horizontally you make the line horizontal and you perform this really quick easy algorithm super easy front u or f u r u prime r prime f prime so you do this okay now yeah, when you get an L, just a simple L, say it's down over here, okay, you always move it to the top left corner. So the fish, bottom left, top, up left, top, top left, when you get the L. So the L happens once in a while, and you do that same algorithm. Yep, oh, got the cross, perfect. So you don't, there's no horizontal, I mean, every way is horizontal. At the cross... You perform the R U R this one here, the one I already showed you. So let me do that. That's my favorite algorithm. Fish, it's already down in the corner, so just perform the algorithm. Alright, now it's down in this here. So I'll move on to this now because I can't get it to the other scenario because I'm I just don't know why it won't happen. Um so when you have a solid color you have to uh, do these. So when when you have, it might not happen, but nine times out of ten it does. That you will get like a blue, a blue, and a red 
or a green, a green and an orange, or like a red, a red and an orange, or you get what I'm saying, blue, blue and green. This time it's blue, blue and red. So when you have that, you align the two corners with that solid color. So now it's like this. See? It's most, you kind of like get it to most solved. If you put it on red, now there's two solved. Or do you still got to solve two? But if you do this, only one has to be solved. So what you do is, you put, you grab that one, the one that you put in the right place, face it away from you that way. So if my chest is here, you face that away, and you perform this algorithm here. You'll need to pause the video again. Uh, right here, number three. Okay, and then, alright, so I'll do the algorithm. And you might need to turn it a few times, but you'll get a solid, if you don't, then just do that again until you get this scenario here. You have a solid side, which you line up, maybe it's all green, so you line it with all green, so you line, this is red in our scenario, so you line this all red with this, and you have all the corners solved, everything solved, but these three here, you're getting close, don't get too excited, so these are done here, or these corners, and this edge is done, now same thing, you face the solid side that's done, away, so that way. Then you perform a new algorithm that you'll need to pause the video for. Number four. Okay. Now, let me focus. There we go. Now perform the algorithm. You might need to do it. I've done it a maximum of four times. See, there, it didn't do any. Or it did. It's. It's. Trust me. It's working. So you face that away from you, do it again. And we have it solved. We have solved the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. And let me get, I'll pause the video and get you in one more scenario that might happen and you might need to do this one one more time. So be back in a sec. Okay, I'm sorry. I could not get it to where I wanted it to be. But what I was trying to get was, like, when you do, oop, locked up, this algorithm, when you have, when you're at this point here, okay, everything's solved, but a certain side, maybe blue side or orange or green, the red side is for this one, you face it away. But once in a while, once in a blue moon, you will have nothing, not one solid side. It'll just be this is not solved, this is not solved, this is not solved, and this is not solved. So these will all be mixed up. So you'll need to do that um, algorithm more than one, twice, maybe, maybe three times. Most like, like nine times out of ten, you'll have to do it three times. So then you just perform your algorithm again, like that, and then it'll get you to this. It'll get you to this one side will be solved, then you perform it again. And your Rubik's Cube is solved. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments below and tell me if you have a scenario that I did not mention. And I will try and find the algorithm for you. And next video will be about the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube being solved. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Uh, cube on.